school gets back underway next month and if you want your kid to make the grade they need to see the whiteboard before they get back to class it might be time to get your children in front of an eye chart dr adam rovet is here he is from shepherd eye center he has been practicing for a good number of years now yes and you have all the answers if any parents out there have questions about their children's vision welcome thank you yeah, great to have you. Uh, first and foremost, we want to get our kids' eyes checked. There is a direct link. I mean, I think it's really kind of an accepted fact. There, there's a direct link between the ability to see the chalkboard and getting good grades in class. And that is true. And um, there are signs that parents can look for in terms of their child struggling to see. Squinting is a common one. Moving closer to an object of regard, bringing that object closer to you. Adopting funny head positions to see inattention or short attention spans can all be signs of difficulty with vision. That's right, and we want to uh, put the, those tips out there for any parents watching. Uh, a pediatrician you mentioned also now, nowadays more than ever is um, fully equipped to determine whether a kid might need to go see someone like you. Right, so a pediatrician, even from infancy, has ways to assess a child's vision. They look for fixation, they examine them with a the light. That used to be the only thing they could do in the past until they got old enough to read the eye chart. Mm -hmm. But now there are devices, handheld devices, which you can hold up. It'll give you a reading of your child's eyes. Are they developing nearsightedness? Do they have astigmatism? Do they have an imbalance between the two eyes? And these can all be um, assessed by a pediatrician and then referral to an eye care specialist. Great, and so you are being referred to these kids in a lot, in a lot of cases. How, how young is uh, old enough to come see someone like you? Right, so at any age that there's perceived to be a problem, we can assess a child's vision. And this can mm. be in a child a few months old to um, a few years old. And this is really good because there are some conditions where it's really helpful to treat it early um, mm -hmm. before vision is lost and difficult to regain. That's right, you wanna get, it, get in on any eye issues early so that you can uh, help the child address them. You know, so it's interesting, doctor, you've been seeing children in your practice, what, the, for years? For now. years, right. Yes, and how many, how many people who walk through the door at Shepherd Eye Center are, are children or young people? Well, as a percentage of our practice, I think it's fairly small, but we have a lot of providers, and I'm um, one of the few people that sees um, a children. But, you know, especially this time of year before school starts, um, we do see a significant amount of children. You do. And so you're, yeah, you're very experienced to having, having a, a little kiddo in your chair. And I know you guys go out of your way, too, to make it kind of, uh, you know, a good, a, a friendly experience for the kids. And how do you do that? Right. So we try, you know, to make it as little as scary as possible. And we have uh, movies we show. We have devices. And we have even, you know, low-tech things like this, which can get your child's attention pretty fast. And sometimes all you need is a quick look to assess their fixation. But we try to have colorful walls and posters and things like that so they feel, um, you know, they're not in a doctor's office as much as they're, you know, just in somebody's room, somebody's, fun, somebody's fun room. Hey, I'm having fun with this. This got my attention, too. <laughs> so in addition to ha having fun with those little kiddos, you also got of your way to welcome children with special needs. Right, and um, I see um, a fair amount of children with autism and other yeah. disorders. And, um, you know, without a child's cooperation, you can get a good assessment of their vision. Checking mm -hmm. their fixation and, of course, doing the entire dilated eye exam, you can get a good idea of what they see um, and how they're doing visually. So a, a lot of young folks out there who wear glasses or maybe haven't yet uh, come to see you are in sports. And you wanted to talk in particular about the importance of protecting your eyes during sports because you mentioned a lot of kids will actually take their glasses off to participate. This is one of the most frustrating things I hear is yeah. they say, I wear my, my glasses all the time, except when I'm playing basketball, baseball, whatever. Mm -hmm. And this is when they're most prone to, to suffer an eye injury or get some sort of damage and they don't realize and they're afraid of breaking their glasses you know i'll break my glasses i have to buy new ones right but right. the glasses all have safety lenses and one of the reasons you should wear them during sports is not only to see better because but it's protecting your eye mm -hmm. and if you're worried that your glasses are going to break and they're not sturdy enough then you should get sports glasses or sports goggles but you absolutely should be wearing your correction and having your best vision when you're participating in sports. And I actually appreciated that reminder for me, Dr. Rovit, because I uh, trim a lot of palm trees in my yard and I will take my glasses off so that I don't damage my glasses when in fact I should be thinking more about protecting my eyes, shouldn't I? And I have so, seen that injury yeah. gardening a lot. It's like I bend over yes. and boom. Yeah. 
Yes, that's right. All right, great. Well, I'm going to tell people where they can get in touch with you and come meet you. Great, thank All you. Right? All right, get your kids ready to hit the books with the help of Shepherd Eye Center. They have five locations throughout Southern Nevada. Call them 702-731-2088 or you can visit shepherdeye.com and we uh, spelled out those numbers in case your vision is a little iffy. <laughs> that was an eye joke. All right, Shepherd Eye Center is a proud sponsor of the Las Vegas Morning Blend.